Yo, what's up? So uh, when we were talking about like what you should be doing on reset and like what you should be waiting for later on in the week, obviously this doesn't really matter if you, but if you want to optimize it, it just kind of depends on how much you're going to be playing, how much you realistically want to optimize this kind of stuff. This is going to only end up mattering very minorly for a little bit of item level, but let's ha talk about like some of the things that you are going to be looking to do this week and in what order you should be looking to do them. So let's start from the top. You should probably be looking to do your M0s first because that's consistent loot. It's also going to allow you to get any gear in any slots that you don't have um, consistent gear in. M0s are very, very easy to do. I think that like, and that's like a good way of like jump starting your gear. And it's, it's going to matter for the stuff that we're going to be talking about later on. Also, make sure you grab your quests for M0s and Valdrak, and I'm going to post a picture of where you can go and get those quests for your M0s. But uh, you really want to make sure that you grab those out of the capital city before you do your dungeons this week. It gives a decent amount of rep, and it's just, I mean, you're going to be doing the dungeons anyways. This is just something you should grab. After that, if you're going to finish off your Rathian or Obsidian Citadel farms, if you're going to complete your like dirt grind and be able to get... Uh, Renown 18 with Dragon Scale Expedition, or buy any of these 389 pieces of gear for whatever reason. If you're a heavy grinder, you do that second. Um, I, ideally, like you would get that to allow you to boost your item level a little bit secondarily because these are guaranteed pieces of gear. There are also Rathian weekly quest items that can proc on your Rathian weekly quests inside the Obsidian Citadel. I've seen uh, the items be actually fairly like, decent item level, and they do scale up with your maximum in bag item level. So potentially waiting if you know that you're going to get a substantial amount of item level could be good. In addition to that, you could just grab them right then and uh, boost the amount of item level that you have in your bags immediately to kind of help you proc higher end stuff later on in the week. Um, this is just something that you could consider doing. I don't think it's super bad at this point to take the items from that, though. Those do give a significant amount of rep, but if you're going to, I think generally, if you're going to finish up that grind like today or something like that, you should be looking to get the 398 uh, cloak and the 389 necklace, kind of that order. Trial flood and trial elements are next up as the first non-guaranteed item thing that you're going to go and get. It makes a lot of sense for you to do trial flood and trial of elements since it is capped at that 379 item level. There are some... Uh, gear sources that have you being able to get gear a lot higher, such as like Community Feast and Dragon Bank Keep and stuff we're going to talk about in a second. But I think that the capping the uh, Trial of Flood and Trial of Elements at 379 means that you're going to go and do that next to kind of bolster up your item level for these next sources of gear that you're going to be getting. Then uh, Community Feast and Siege on Dragon Bank Keep are both still very good. Now, they did nerf uh, Siege on Dragon Bank Keep dropping those blue um, bags. Or, yeah, the blue bags no longer are granted per instance of Dragon Bane Keep you do. So the uh, potential loot farm is significantly diminished. Now you can only do Dragon Bane Keep one time, which is, you know, probably less worth. But Community Feast gearing and Dragon Bane Keep uh, weekly gearing is pretty good. It scales off of your in-bag item level, so you want to be doing that as late into the week as possible. And then after that, there's like super rare farming. If you're going to be getting any potential item level from other sources, you should be looking to do that next. And then the final thing you want to do is turning and aiding the Accord as late as possible. And the reason for that is because I'm having reports that people are getting upwards of 392, um, even potentially higher item level gear from aiding the Accord. And so this is like some of those things. This is one of those things that you want to turn in just as late as possible. So you are able to get that high item level potential gear out of aiding the Accord. And so that's basically the rough order that you should be looking to do things in. Um, M0 is then like Wrathian, Obsidian, Citadel, then like Community Feast slash Dragon Bane Keep. And then you want to do like any super rares or just like daily rare farming that you're going to be doing. And then finally to cap it all off, aiding the Accord. Hope this helps. Hope you uh, guys are enjoying the expansion and I will see you guys in the next video.